Hello right, fellas, welcome to the channel, welcome to Jim Will Shave. Now this is uh, a tag video, it's the uh, five salt mashup. It was started off by uh, Rusty, the Rusty Shaver, the Rusty Razor, sorry. He in turn tagged Sig Solo, he in turn tagged me. And basically what it is, it's, uh, it's basically for people who have got little bits of soap lying around and they just don't quite get around to using it. And as the name says, you make a mashup. I haven't got any tubs of little bits lying around in it anymore, I've used them all up. But uh, I've made a selection of scents which are going to have uh, so much contrast. Uh, nothing really should match, but that's what I've mixed up for my five. Now, I'm not going to go through scent notes and all that because we'll be here for forever. I'm just going to tell you, if you if I stick my nose into this particular soap, the first dominant scent that hits my uh, nose, the first scent I smell. So I'm going to be using Oaken Labs, Earth of Mankind. Put your nose in this for the first time and you smell burning, smoking cloves. Burning, smoking cloves. So it's a nice, smoky scent. To our birds. Dark Rose Coffee, first scent that hits my nose there is Tiramisu. Patriot, Heritage Hill, first scent to hit me there is uh, Citrus, Lemon and Patchouli. A close shave isn't always a bad thing. That's supposed to emulate uh, Hugo Boss. I don't know about that, I don't quite get Hugo Boss, but that's what it's supposed to emulate. I'll just show you this soap because it's very peculiar actually. I didn't get the lid off. Close shave isn't always a bad thing. Uh, English Artisan, glycerin based. And London Oat Cake, Mahogany. First sensor at my nose there is Digestive Biscuits. So, we have a combination of Smoking cloves, a nice smoky kick. Citrus and patchouli. Hugo Boss. Tiramisu. And digestive biscuit. <laughs> and I've mashed them. Well, it's been in here about six hours or so, so the all the scents can mix up. Now, equal quantities of each soap. What I'm getting mostly is the Heresy Jill Patriots is coming to the fore, which surprised me. I thought the uh, smoke and clothes would have knocked it out, but no. That's the predominant scent, which I'm glad about, because I love that scent. But overall, it's very, very nice. Just spray some oh, razor today. Going to be using Black Lung Blackbird. And in my Blackbird, I've got a Gillette winner on its second use. Second and final use, no need to use blades too much. So I'm just going to spray the whiskers and get laughing. Now a lot of people have already been tagged in this video and I've just noticed that one of the guys I was going to tag has been tagged by somebody else, even though he's not already. But this is going to make a lot of love of this. This is why I'm using this dessert book bowl, Charles dessert bowl. And that looks like the contents of a Charles nappy. I think this is uh, It's not that easy to lava. Mind you, I've got a hell of a lot of soap in there to be fair. That's it. It's starting to uh, break up now. It's starting to soften up. And it's forming a very dry paste. So I'm just going to start adding water little by little. Oh no, I'm going to put a fair old amount in to start with. I don't want to be here forever, do I? I think I should get enough lava out of here for the head shave. How are we all doing? Not too bad this end. Tomorrow, Monday, I uh, will be doing my last week on my current job. So, I'll be leaving my current job, which was my new job, to go back to my old job. Which is now my new current job, if you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, 
Wowzers. I think it's going to take a gallon. So I'm getting a little more heavy handed with the water now. Now who am I going to tag? Who hasn't been tagged? DK. DK. Damn fine shaves. You're good with your soaps. Bit of a soap expert. I mean that in the nicest possible way by the way. Uh, so DK. I'll tag you. Melly Mel. There's another guy. Knows all about his scents. I'll tag you. One more. John Shades 101. Your tag buddy. So that's DK. Melly Mel and John 101. This is tagged. This is tagged. I thought I'd get that in now before I forget. This is uh, a little bit shy on that. Well, I think it's going to say just a wee bit more water. It hasn't actually. Uh, that's it, we're getting there now. Sorry this is taking so long, but it is a it is an experiment. And it's a good experiment. Uh, if you like your scents and what have you, if you're limited on the soaps you have and you fancy a change, have a mashup. Or as Rusty meant, just to use up any Leftover fragments of soap you may have lurking in the end, in the bottom of the uh, tubs. It gives it a whole new lease of life. Well, this is really creamy now. As you can see, I'm lava in a smooth bowl, so you don't need these fancy ridged bowls. Huh? For one pound stainless steel pet food pet food bowl or. 50 pence child's bowl. I actually use this blade for uh, storing my open pucks of razor blades. And I think we're about there. Wow, look at that. Look at it. Can you see the shine on that? Scent? It's hard to see. But all those scents. I've combined into one. Say so there's, say so there's at least one, two soaps here that I don't really reach for a lot. And of course, I've got a mix of tallow soaps and glycerin-based soaps here. I've uh, recently purchased a Kismet hair shaper. So I've been shaving with that during the week. So uh, I did catch myself just under the chin there. More practice required. But look at that lava. Look at that. It's nice, shiny, smooth, dense, creamy. Still trying to make out the scent though. It doesn't produce as much lava as a thought it would do for the amount of uh, soap I had in there. Mmm. Well, that is really nice. No pre shave. Just sprayed the whiskers a few times before prior to shaving. Yuck. I've got a load of it in my, in my mouth. Okay, Blackland, Blackbird, Gillette winner, second use. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very nice radar. You hear that feedback? Oh, 
once again thanks for new subscribers and for returning viewers listen to that well that's why I stretch here I've got a, a crease in my skin if I don't lift the blade just won't get into that crease I don't know if it's a scar or not it's a, I've got so many scars I don't know what are scars and what are natural creases and or what a craggy face So it's working well, as you would expect, because I've got some good soaps in this mashup. I was going to use samples, but samples have been sent to me by viewers for a reason. That's because. You want me to sample certain soaps. So it would just be wrong for me to have wow the, <laughs> the slickness on there. As you can see the uh, the grip on the black bear, it's just these elongated grooves here. And I've got a whole lot of slickness on this soap and I can tell by the grip. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, definitely this uh, this dart. It's definitely my favourite fixed DE at the moment. Do I prefer shaving with to this than my Rockwell Success? Yeah, I do. But uh, now I'm about to hopefully start working away on my travels again. I think it'll it's likely to be that the uh, success will always be uh, coming along with me. Just looking at the colour of this lava in the bowl here. It's a nice little. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's fine. Nice little orange tint. Now I'm trying to work out which soap or soaps are contributing to all this rich, dense lava. But, uh, Heritage Jill, that's certainly a premium soap. And the, the uh, London Oak Cake. If you log it correctly, that also creates a rich, dense lava. The London Oak Cake, as the name suggests, primarily it's based on oak kernels, oil from oak kernels. That's why it's called Oak Cake. I was considering including there uh, I would fail smile in the mashup but I don't want to do that some good fail smile shops across the grain hey, this black land seven out of ten rated seven out of ten by Blackland themselves But whilst being extremely efficient, it doesn't feel like it's seven out of ten. So a lot of people have said it that the the dart feels a lot more aggressive. And I agree.
really enjoying this. Uh, well, I've had this soap. Reminds me of a tag that was going around last year. The Franken Shave. Where we mixed up, combined different razors and handles and base plates, even top caps. And uh, obviously used a mashup of soaps. You see, when I'm just shaving an edge under the chin, under the jawline, that's because the grain on the face goes that way and it follows right under the jawline, then suddenly around there it stops. Swirls around here, but predominantly the grain can go that way. So this is basically across the grain. As much as I can do on the neck, I say it's so many patterns, swirls not just my neck everybody's neck so what the remains of a, a spot there and I had one spot come back to uh, plague me which for me is good because it's uh, it's usually 100 spots as you know excellent Quite confident this is going to be no pickups required. Slickness, tremendous, tremendous slickness. Just look at that. Yeah, so likewise, uh, I've tagged the three people, but uh, if you're watching this. Tag yourself, whether you be a YouTube content provider, creator, or YouTube viewer, or you just tuned in. Experiment. Mix some of your soaps. You can be surprised. Now, for people who talk a lot about cushion and this is high density lava. Dry the mitts. Go against, against the green. Say against the grain, this razor, razor fellas, it's uh, really nice. I do believe the last time I was using this razor on camera, I was using uh, a tiger blade. And against the grain, it, it's, it was a wee struggle. Not with the winner though. The winner's a good blade. Sports it. Sunday afternoon. 16, 15 hours and it's looking real dark and gloomy outside. Never mind. Could be worse, could be like Green uh, Sig Zorro from in Greenland. Is the sun up yet, Sig? <laughs> your six day your six month long daytime, your six month long nights. 
Wouldn't that be depressing? Right. Listen to that. Tell you what, this, uh, to me, in my opinion, this Blackbird, Blackbird, Blackland Blackbird, it's definitely worth the price tag. Oh, shut up, just listen to us against the grain on those hairs on the neck here. This is the area where a lot of guys get irritation if they have to shave too much, but you can just hear. And that is BBS. So I wet the face just to confirm that. Tons of slickness. Just the usual under the nostrils here to touch up. Go on off camera for a minute here because I'm uh, looking into my magnified mirror which is just above the camera it's going to buff up here Those stuck in chin hairs oh, spoke too soon Do you ever find that you uh, think you've got a perfect shave, you walk away, you just find a little bit of rough in these areas here, which I obviously neglected to shave properly, because that shouldn't have happened. Rinse off. Well, that was a good one. Thank you very much for starting that tag, Rusty. Thank you very much for uh, tagging me. Sig, six or all. Now, I've got a lot of lava left there, I think. Yeah, so, I will now be going off to do a head shave. Uh, I won't put you through the head shave. I like to, oh. Post shave feel awesome, awesome. BBS feels really fresh, really nice. So, I'll put you through the uh, head shave. I don't know, I might record it and upload it at a later date. We'll see. So, just to quickly go through what I did today in today's tag video a concoction, a mashup, five different soaps, Twa Birds, Dark Rose Coffee, Oaken Labs. Earth of Mankind, Burning Clothes, Heritage of Jill, The Patriot, good stuff. A close shave isn't always a bad thing, English Artisan, London Oak Cake Mahogany, also an English Artisan. Blade was the Gillette winner on its second use. I think it'll be its final use, so I don't think I'll, maybe I'll get one more out of it. The razor, the blackland gods. Okay, thank you much uh, for watching this tag video. It's much appreciated. Thanks for all your views, all your likes, all your dislikes, all the new subscribers, existing subscribers. Okay, hope you found that useful. Hope you enjoyed viewing, and I'll see you further down the line, guys. Bye bye now.